good to do? Good to do the deal. Gene, you good? Okay. Uh, Alright, so what do we have inside this, this kit? We have we have things. So let's start off with the, the first one. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is like origami, right? Is this the whole um, you can make an airplane yes. out of? You can make a tent. A crane? <laughs> and so you can make a plate. Instant cover. That's yeah. great. That's what so what is that, like plus two to uh, minus two to head? Only or? if you go to ground behind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so this kind of covers like the inside of what we're going to be looking at. So this is the activity kit. Um, we have our campaigns. It's like Kill Team, uh, but second edition styly, right? So yeah, so now it's all kinds of different modifiers. So if you okay. ever thought it was crazy that a guy with a bolter can always hit you on a three no oh, matter yeah. what, even though you're way across the table, uh -huh. you're running around, well, this game plays around with that. And if for people who have played the older editions, like second edition and Necromunda, range modifiers are back. Oh, thank you. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it makes sense that. to take a shotgun on a scout. Yeah, I mean, I, I think like when it, when they had the AP thing, that like all or nothing, like you either save or you don't. Like, yeah, when power kind of power weapons just ignored armor for the longest time. <laughs> right. Suddenly, witches were terrible. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, so I think like one of the first things on the top of the box um, looks like our campaign. Uh, rankings, right? Yeah, it's a little tracker for everybody who's playing in your campaign at your local store. So, all the team names, and then you got the little pyramid of awesome, I guess. Pyramid of the Hive. We'll go with that. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's cool. It's, it's, I think they said that it was like a user dry erase. So Yeah, you know, it's reusable. This is all laminated. Right. So if you get to the top and you want to stay that way, you have to use a Sharpie. <laughs> yeah, that works. I'd use an X-Acto knife. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it works all the same. But you're a little bit more hoodie than most. <laughs> all right, well, well, it's good <laughs> Uh, what's the next thing? Uh, this is one of the cool little widgets yeah. that they cover in here. These are oh. wristbands with all the crazy faction symbols for every faction you can take. Okay. In, uh, so it's not a cancer awareness thing, like, hi, I have turned in cancer. Uh, no, it does have Tau, <laughs> and it does have Eldar on it, so it so is kind of cancer awareness. It's a general game of workshop cancer. <laughs> yeah, so, and it just covers everybody. Everyone's got their own little symbols or whatnot. Um, I actually have no idea which one that one is. Uh. Oh, that's a good. Is it the Eldar is, Unified? Or is something? that? I don't know. I don't know because we have Dark Eldar. Oh, there's regular Eldar. So yeah, there's regular the, Eldar there. Um, is it a? Gem? I see. No, I don't see Dark Eldar. Because there's thirteen. There's Eldar, Dark Eldar, Harlequins. That's playing our Harlequins, right? No. Well, there's Dark Eldar. Okay. Um, it must be. Tyranids, a uh, juicer called Grey Knights, Tau Empire, Chaos Space Rings, and Adeptus Mechanicus. That's got to be the Harlequins one. Uh, I don't recognize it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or it's a brand new thing that they haven't released yet. It's squat. It's squat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, look at it. It clearly looks like a squat, just like <laughs> sitting down. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's praying to the, the beard god, <laughs> bearded one. <laughs> um, I'm going to get in cards. Um, oh, these. Let's see bust one open and see what this is all about. So these, for anyone who's interested, these are those special hired guns you can take. Oh, so, right. so it's like a, is it like a character, do you think? Or? Yeah, so like back when Necromunda was a thing, you could take these special guys. These ones okay. are, instead of being like special characters, they're, you know, your generic BAs of the 41st millennia. Okay. So we'll just... I think there's, every every faction has one. So e every like faction's a, got four. Biovore, uh, uh, Pyrovore, I think, for your... <laughs> and then I think... I think what have we got? We got Space Marines too in oh, this man. pack, and they have said they are going to come out with more of these guys. Okay. So and these are supposed to be the like special one-off dudes you can take because you have to actually use a resource in game in order to take them. Because you know Terminator armor is crazy. Yeah. It'd be insane if you could take a team of Terminators. Uh, I'll figure out a way to do it. <laughs> then you got what? You got your Runt Herd. You got Flash Git. You got what is that? Mech Boy. Yeah, that's a Mech. That's a mech boy and got a pain boy. Yeah. Standard Imperial Guard, which it is. Yeah. With even a Tempestus Scion, so okay. a reason to play those again. So, uh, do you know offhand whether or not you can, like, because uh, I think you can upgrade them, you can give them different skills and stuff, but do these guys? These get, guys are fixed. They're fixed. Okay. But that's so they're because, like the old characters. Yeah, so uh, you get Prometheum charges as you play through the campaign. Okay. So win or lose, you walk away with the charge. Oh, okay. However, you can pay for those charges to bring one of these guys with you, and the rules mm. are in the big rule book for it. So, okay. And yeah, it's just that's pretty much how it all breaks down. Now, even like things like the Terminator, uh -huh. this is 
Necromunda slash kill team. They don't have a two up armor set. Oh, okay. Instead, they have a three up, but they roll two dice and they got failed. Oh, so okay. yeah, so that's cool. So makes it really makes a bit more sense. That's cool. Yeah, and they got all the standard like movement, value, initiative, attacks, leadership, and then each one of them comes with its own slew of war gear that they can take. Mm. Hot. Yeah. Um, Should be good. Yeah. Okay. So what else do we have in here? Um, I think uh, tokens. Is that the next big thing we have to? We get to. <laughs> so we get all these tokens. Bars down. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So all these tokens are for uh, in-game. It's just to like help with all your bookkeeping and whatnot. That's in game, not end game. Just in so you know, not, end game. not end times. Enunciate, <laughs> or is it end time? Yeah. And I'm a secret insider. <laughs> and the yeah. internet goes aflame that it's now Armageddon end times. The game yeah. just released. Yeah, so these are just to like help you keep track of like guys who have been running, uh, you know, guys Overwatch. who have to take tests, yeah, overwatching. Uh, there's hidden. Is that, that's, is that hidden? I think this one's hidden. That's hidden. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those and objective markers, right, or scrap markers? Yeah, those are the Promethean oh, caches okay. that you can run around. And collect up. There's so. a ton of these, dude. Like well, this. I mean, yeah. I mean, think about it. If you have like eight guys and they all run, you need eight. You need eight of these. So, I think they were saying that you could get up to 20 guys in an orc kill team. So, oh, okay. Or up to 20 guys. Up to 20, I think. Okay. But we can figure that out here in a second. Uh -huh. um, Okay. And like, all right, double-sided. Yeah, it's double-sided, uh, which that's kind of cool because kind of they're double-sided, but they aren't the same thing on each side. Oh, okay. So, so you so already have those eight run tokens for when you uh, gotcha. when you run nothing but gods. Oh, that's so cool. okay. Um, all right. So what's next? We have the reference rules. Um, I think these are just the the quick. So we have five of these, right? Yeah, five of these. Yeah, five copies of them. And these are like the. So these are the ones that have been spoiled for days now. Um, <laughs> Which is all kinds of cool, but it's just the quick reference one. So it's uh -huh. not even like the, the big rule book that will come in the proper game. Okay. Um, but you got all your base weapons and everything. You got how the hand-to-hand -hand combat works. And it goes through turn to turn, telling you uh, like what the exact breakdown is of the campaigns. Okay. All the injury and stuff is in the front. Because nice. even though that you go down, you're not necessarily dead. <laughs> That's right. Uh, which is always nice to know that your you know, guy you spent so much time building did just <laughs> broke. Yeah. <laughs> so. um, and, yeah. Very cool. Because I, I remember that uh, when, like, Necromunda stuff, you can have, like, niggling injuries, or you can, like, lose a leg, you can buy cyber, uh, cybernetics and stuff. Yeah, you can get all the crazy like a, a lighter version of Necromunda, where you don't get cybernetics and stuff? Well, or? first off, yes, it's a little bit lighter than the first <laughs> Necromunda okay. book. Um, <laughs> but I do think that it's just going to be more of a, like, this is going to be your pick-up-and-play kind of thing. Oh, okay. Like, the so way something they... something between Kill Team and Necromunda. Yeah, I think that this is just going to bring more people into playing more of a kill team style game. Um, but yeah, I mean, because there's not there's not as much tracking to do with this. From everything I've seen, like you don't have to track a crazy amount of advances. Um, they do have a big old set of skills and whatnot that you can take from the big rule book to change up who your guys are. But you know, there's always limitations and things like that. So it's not that you're going to be making like a guy that you can only use in uh, Shadow War. It's going to be like a guy... No, it's, this is a, here I've got five Space Marine scouts and I'll use a Promethean cache to bring in this one other Space Marine that I've had for years. Okay. And we can play a game of it. Yeah. You know, it's, whereas Necromunda, if you and I tried to play a pickup game of Necromunda, oh, gosh, yeah. we'd be generating our gangs for two hours. <laughs> so. Yeah. so what do we have coming up? Um, looks like... What is this? Oh, we got Ooh. rosters. Okay, those are important. So those are cool. Like these, yeah. yeah so it's a, it's a lot giant of stack of them. Uh, set the yeah, it's not three pages long. So that's so cool. skills and notes, uh, name rolls. So, oh yeah, this is kind of neat because yeah. we were talking about like in uh, eighth edition they were gonna bring back movement. I know this is technically second ish, um, but yeah, we're gonna be seeing a little bit uh, different stats. So no uh, save modifier. So I guess it's like whatever you're, you you look to the your. Yeah. Um, War gear versus like your uh, stat. Line. Yeah, your war gear gives you the same. The save. Your stat line doesn't matter. For that, so. so movement is also going to be determined. I think like that was one of the things. Like your movement could be changed depending on the skill you get too. Yeah, you could go up one or down one. Which and this is going to be cool because running is double your movement. Oh, okay. So. 
That would be cool. And it looks like you can keep track of how many missions each individual guy has completed. Okay. Uh, that's probably going to be more important for skills and advancements later on. So. It looks like in a lot of ways, like, I mean, if, only, if you only have three check marks uh, next to the mission completed, chances are, I think these sheets are going to be just for in-store games to where you have, like, a day of, like, three games or something like that. So, yeah, just do, like, a quick off little campaign with all your buddies. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, looks cool. like we got something else going on. What do you have over here? We got stickers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just tons of <laughs> stickers. I think in this this wasn't so much for the player, um, but I think for managers, all you managers out there, um, this is just going to be to put on boxes that are going to be... Uh, that can be used in the game. So yeah. not everything. You're not going to be using your rhinos, your land raiders, and so on. Um, so be yeah, because there's like no vehicles in this at all. Right. Unlike in regular kill team, <laughs> where you, know, you can take a uh, Tau Devilfish. Oh, yeah. Um, wow, there's, there's quite a few of those. So if you do see the sticker, uh, you're, you're pretty safe that you, know, you can probably use it in Armageddon. Yeah. So. This should be just about. Now, this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. Oh, are you? You're excited so, about something. Yes, oh, I am actually very excited about this. <laughs> These are all the rules available for Ooh. every single faction you can play. So, 13 of them, right? Is that... um, now, there's a few of them online that you can get right now. These are them. But this is... I think this is, a, is, is this okay? So yeah, these these are them. These are oh, cool. the same. They're hard copied Atari versions Rangers of the ones that you can pick up from the Games Workshop uh, uh, site. If you go to the Shadow War Armageddon page on okay. Games Workshop, uh -huh. there's a little download button at the bottom. Cool. If you click on that, it pulls it all up, and uh, the order's a little bit different than how they packed them in the box because Chaos Space Marines were first, just oh, right. like they always should be. <laughs> um, Being a Chaos player, but yeah, you can. It's got everything you need to know in there. Like, like we were saying on the rosters, all your profiles are all nice and listed out. Oh yeah, you got all your war gear options. So Pathfinder has a movement of four inches. Yeah. Uh, interesting. They, they slowed the tau down, which makes sense. Uh, I think uh, I think four is like standard Harlequin. human because a Harlequin moves six. six. Three knights is four. Right. Three knights is four. Ooh, Gene Steeler four. hybrid. Ooh. Oh, do they? Okay, it looks like they're they're, all, they're four across the board. Uh, Chaos Race Rings 4. 4 okay. across the board. Yeah. All of our witches. Uh, oh, sixes. six. Ooh, wow. The, yeah, the witches are quick. I'm sure with Eldar, only 5 going oh, down. Yeah, but did they really need to be 6? <laughs> 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 I guess that just goes to argue, like, uh, uh, why... What's the difference between them? Yeah. yeah, Lighter clothes. They keep you less encumbered. <laughs> well, they're Dark Eldar. What clothes are you talking about? It's, it's all that, I remember the old models. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that, like, argument, like, why is that lady barbarian only wearing a bikini? Well, well it's because <laughs> she wants to move. <laughs> yeah, oh, look, it four. looks like you can take the... Uh, the Craft World Eldar Gunner teams. Oh, oh so that's kind of that, cool. Okay. So that's like the craft cannons and the, the distortion cannons okay. and all that that they uh, have. Warrior, so. Guardian Defender, Combo, uh, uh, Edition of Defender. Heavy Weapon Platform. Okay, oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, if your kill team contains one or more Guardian Defender gunners, you may purchase a single oh, Heavy gotcha. Weapon Platform. Oh, nice. Okay. So bring an anti tank gun to an infantry game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they've got, yeah, they got Skatari Rangers, which yeah. I'm really excited about this because I just started an Admech Army. Oh, no. So I'm going to be taking that one. Oh, <laughs> will you? I'll put that off to the side okay, there. Uh, <laughs> all right, so um, so Skatari, five inches, and, and yeah, they, sorry, Gene, looks like you're going to be losing some of them. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like it could take quite a few of them in a team, because <laughs> uh, the big thing for this game is it's not the same point values. Oh, okay. Um, so people may be flipping to their codexes and being like, oh, I can take you know mm, 65 yeah. points for a unit of rangers. Yeah, that's not how this works. Right, because right here you have a Tyranid Alpha. Uh, I think it's like a, a warrior, but like the... The sergeant equivalent, 250 points. So that's not. <laughs> yeah, an HQ in the codex. Your regular too, warrior's so. 200 points. So much different. And then I think you have to buy uh, warrior on top of that. So yeah, um, they all get different options. Adrenal glands, 10 points. Oh, dude, if you want a whiplash and bone sword, 100 points. Ooh. <laughs> like pair of bone swords, 125. And I think it goes to say, just so people get a sense of the scale <laughs> that you're going to see with a lot of these games, uh -huh. it's a thousand points per game. Oh, okay. So it's a flat out, Start out a thousand points. Thousand points right. You get one liter, and I think like there's a breakdown for everything. Yeah, using everything. So, okay. like the Tyranids, for instance, they can only take three to five models. Oh, so limitations on your kill teams. Yeah, limitations on the whole thing. Tyranid gun beasts. I'm gonna need to take like 
uh, as many of those as I can. That just sounds cool. <laughs> I don't even like nits. <laughs> so I think with like the, the manager's book thing, um, these are you can look through them, but yeah. you basically have to like use your phone or whatever to take pictures. Or if, assuming you don't have a smartphone. <laughs> yeah, assuming. <laughs> so yeah. these aren't for anybody. Yeah, these, these are going to be for in-store <laughs> use for mm -hmm. those people who are coming in and thinking, oh man, this sounds like a fun game. What would I have to get? Well, yeah. looks like I'm going to have to pick up. Um, everything else. So, oh, okay. Yeah, like I'll need oh. a box of them. Wait right. a second. This so let's get this. to the biggie. This is the actual 120 page rule book. What? The whole nine yards. Okay. Um, wow. Um, that's legit. Yeah. Look like, at that. Look at that fracker right there. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, uh, look at that quick reference sheet. Like, that's nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. a lot of fluff in here. Uh, oh, yeah. look at this. We got like a whole thing on the Wars of Armageddon, Gaskell, Thraka. Uh -huh. So we'll probably get, yep, there's Yarrick. So if you've never heard about the war on Armageddon... Um, oh, that's right. This goes through the, yeah. the inner struggles. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm really impressed. The terrain that's coming out for it. I think oh, it's gorgeous. Give me one set, right? And then I think they said that they're going to part it out. So yes. By individual so components. if you look in your uh, white dwarf that just came out okay. um, with the flying happy space dwarfs, <laughs> there's actually a whole series of articles in there about how all these pieces of terrain that you're going to see in the Shadow War book yeah. are going to be available as their own separate thing called the Manufactorum Sector. Ooh. So just like how we, how we had the uh, Imperialis Sector, uh -huh. like, what, two years? ago, something like that. Okay. It uh, came out with the uh, the Aquila, the Manufactorium, and all those oh, things. Yeah. You're going to get another set that is just for all that industrial style terrain. Because, okay. you know, you don't always fight in the middle of a ruined city. Sometimes you fight in a awesome four-foot oil platform. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting is, like, and I didn't notice it from the pictures, but going through that white dwarf, mm -hmm. was that there's, like, these snap fits. So, like, it's modular. Yeah. It's, it's fully modular. So, um, and I, I think I, I was kind of like curious, like how they were going to do that and still kind of keep it beautiful. Because as soon as you get modular, like you start to lose that uh, aesthetic. You know, yeah. have like a line in a weird place or like a yeah. scene. But um, it looked it was really impressive. So, uh, oh, talk about different kinds of covers. So this is going to be a save modifiers or hit modifiers. Uh, yeah. hit modifiers. Hit modifiers. Yeah. Yep. So you can go all the way up to needing a 10 to hit somebody. Oh, wow. Because um, they think over 6 is you need a 6 and then you re-roll to another number. So. Dang. Okay. Here's our oh, good lord. Look at all yeah. these. <laughs> For me, that's the exciting part. This is yeah. like where you... Rewards a battle. Okay. Uh, serious injuries. Yep. You get your serious injuries. Head yep. wounds. Uh, uh, frenzy yeah. rule. Oh, yep, yeah, you can end up dead. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Oh, but yeah, so advances. You can get, like, extra wounds and toughness. You can get strength or attack. Oh, you can get a new skill, too. So you can have one guy who just becomes MacGyver. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, wow. Um, let's see. So you have your skill list. Oh, and this is for all the different factions. I remember them saying they were going to have different advancement trees. So if you look okay. here, here's all the Cadians, the Kachikans, wow. and the Steel Legion. So if you want to play Steel Legion, awesome, go for it. Jeez. But you're not going to get any agility skills for your troopers and your specialists. Snake bite, bad move, evil sons, death skulls. <laughs> yeah, the whole nine. This is really... I mean, it's only three factions, right? So it's Space Marines... Um, Imperial Guard and works. They come in the main book. Yeah, come in the main book, and then everything else is being released separately. Okay. Angels of Redemption? Really? Um, I don't know. I wonder wow, if they're from like a thing. Those things. <laughs> that, that, was that the Dark Angel uh, successor chapter? Yeah, they were the successors that showed up. So and I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, Space Wolves, White Scars, Salamanders, Blood Angels, Sons of uh, Sons of Guliman. Oh, weird. I wonder if that's... Okay, yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then we have and to go into the, the actual skills. skills. Which looks like they're... Are they random? Yeah, so I think you, yeah. you pick a you pick an area. You're like, all right, since I get agility, and then you can find your agility um, chart, and then you roll for it, right? So you get one through six. Catfall, dodge, jump back, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's okay. Yeah, that could be fun. It's totally necromunda. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Man, this is. Oh, this I is have noticed exciting. nothing about losing hands or feet so no. far, so I think that's not going to be an issue. Uh, 
That's too bad. So anyway, I think that's really exciting. Um, and there's a lot more to go into there. Uh, you can go on the internet and find leaked pages, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Wait a few days and buy the box. Um, and you have something else. We got there. we got another one of just the cool little in-store widgets. So okay. Oh, is this the special did, missions? Yeah, they're all the special missions that you can do oh. using the new rule sets. I think there's okay. six of them total. Yeah. yeah, six of them total. Okay, and let's see. I wanna, just wanna I'm pretty sure they're in the big book, too, somewhere. Uh, so here's, let's see, Shadow War campaigns. Um, let's see, Kill Team Fight. Uh, yep. Scavengers Hit and Run. Okay, yep. yeah. Yep. So, they're in so the that's them. So they're in the core book. These will be for the in-store. So if you're just trying to suss out the game or if yeah. you want to go get the big, you aren't sure about getting the big rule book, go find your local store, Carries UW Products, mm -hmm. have them bust out the demo kit. And you'll be able to play using all this stuff here, plus all the cool little kill team rules. We and just your over. models. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is that? There's a. Oh, we, we do have stuff. one thing. I think this is. These are really cool because when Kill Team came out, they put out all those cool little event packs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. And one of the coolest things they did were these awesome like little oh. certificates. So it looks like. When, yeah, you got like gold level things. So best painted kill team. That's right. Young blood. I remember reading that. There, it wasn't just going to be like best painted. They were going to try and break it up so it would kind of incentivize like the younger people and people who don't paint and stuff to come down. Yeah. Yeah, because they've got they've got all the ones that are marked for just generic best painted gold, silver. And I think there's bronze down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you got the underhive alphas. And you have young blood and the regular. So okay. even if, so even if somebody's general or something yeah, like I think that's like best general overall uh, okay. sort of thing. So yeah, way to go, GW, bringing hobby back into the game. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm pumped. I think dude. that's uh, that's everything other than the dry erase marker that comes with the uh, is it a with everything. Exclusive? It's, oh man, no, no, it is, it is not. <laughs> And we already checked the box. There was no Citadel water in there. So. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that was a missed opportunity in them. Yeah. I'd buy like one and four and or five coat. sets. I, it it is a out. fine <laughs> skill to be able to do one and a half cuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine line between one and two. And Duncan Rhodes found it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, this has really been really exciting. I know um, a lot of people are clamoring to get their hands on this box. I know I am. I'm sure you are. I've already got mine ordered. Yeah. I, would, I was getting ready to order a lot more because I saw mm -hmm. that awesome oil platform ah. they built using the terrain. But then I found out it took 20 kits of the terrain to make that oil platform. Oh. I was like, okay, I will just get my one yeah. and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> one at a time. Just start stockpiling. I, my or wife does love me, but there is a dollar limit. <laughs> so. My love is $200 a month. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so this is kind of this is really exciting. I think, uh, um, I think we'll take a look at the box when it comes out. Um, mm -hmm. And do another unboxing. I, I, you know, like the, the Marines and the Orcs in there are your standard that have been around forever. I decide for all the bits coming in that terrain kit. Yes. Though, I think that's <laughs> going to be nice. So, so. Um, yeah, so uh, keep it tuned. Uh, we'll be doing some more reviews. Thank you, Gene from Tier 1, for letting us do this and Thank take you a look Gene. at all of your, your swag. Um, and yeah, take care. Yeah. Bye. Sweet. Thanks, man. No problem. I really appreciate it. Now we just got to stop the stream. <laughs> Welcome to the secret of live stream TV. Hi, everyone in Twitch. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Twitch people, while you're at it, if you guys um, are interested in doing some Twitch games, if you want to see some of this in action, uh, definitely uh, leave a comment or send it.